A few episodes ago, I made a statement. Unfortunately, that few episodes ago is actually a few months ago. Therefore, I don't really expect you to remember it. But here is to refresh your memory. I wanted to include that when I made the Arc Furnace, but then I thought, no, let's wait. There are people who sometimes skip the video, and then they tell me that you're doing something wrong. So this is their trap. Because in one or two episodes, I need to make a graveyard, and I need names for the graves. And as you guys probably remember, the trap kind of backfired because everybody conveniently missed it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to conveniently forget about the graveyard. Instead, we are going to have something else. I thought maybe what I should do is that I make you guys hang out and contemplate your life choices. I do admit that most of you have a very weird pattern of hanging out, but all of you have names and that is good. Yes, very good. I also don't really want you to feel uncomfortable. So here is a nice floor and maybe some beds. I also do understand that some of you might get bored, so here is some hobbies for you. Well, technically, if you walk this way, it would be nicer. We do it with one. We do it with a bell. Wait a minute. We don't have quark. Ah, we don't. It's fine. I'll do it manually. Yeah, I think the tables are too tall. Okay, you seem to like this one better. While you guys are also playing with your new toys, maybe we should make this place spawn proof. I do like accidents as long as I'm the one who's causing it. Oh, and by the way, I meant accidentally causing it. I'm sure that most of you guys are eager to work, so here are more toys. Yes, very eager. Oh, you summoned the bodyguard. That's so nice. Uh, there is actually something that I always wanted to craft, a uh, oblivion stone. It is going to upgrade the defenses and brain of an iron golem. I have no idea how it works. Let us try it. Ooh, you look fancy. Player protection system activated. Defenses upgraded. Nice. Oh, you're a friendly golem. I can punch you? Okay. Eden, why are you alone? Would you like to have some work? Okay, before we proceed any further, I always used to think that we have some sort of wireless charging, but unfortunately not. Uh, we need to fix it. I always get low on energy. The thing is, we do have wireless charging down here, but I have to stand, I don't know, in this area? Not even in this area. Or maybe it's incredibly slow. Yeah, exactly. That's it. <laughs> now that we have access to power, let us fix it. I believe what we need to make is a player transmitter and I'm incredibly lazy to make it. Technically speaking, we just need to have the one. So what we're going to do is that we're going to make the patterns. We make the nitro one and then we throw the patterns away. And I think we also need one aerial pearl. I also need to find a stupid zombie, which should be easy. No zombies. Yes. Come here. Thank you. Also, this is a perfect timing to see if everything is spawn proof. Yeah, everybody seems to be safe. Pablo, don't you like the others? You will. Very shortly. Player transmitter nitro. We can craft it. Nice. That was incredibly fast. I'm assuming we don't need the chargers anymore. And we can just put you on top. Oh, I also need a card. So you make a binding card. And then I have to find that enderman. Okay. Thank you for your donation. Ah, then I have to right click to bind. And we should be good. I mean, if we put it inside, I guess. Are we charging up? Perfect. Yeah, this is a teeny tiny bit irritating. They keep getting spawned on the roof. Go down. Thank you. But I think I saw something. Uh, villagers and guard are historically drawn to these. Is this something that I can place down? No. Something that I can hang? No. Are you drawn to this? Yes, apparently. Anyhow, I know what you're thinking. Every prison, uh, I mean, a camp of kindness, does require a warden, I mean a safety manager. And voila, this is his office. And someone is in the queue for a meeting? My dearest Linda, the manager is busy. And I would like to introduce the rest of you to the manager, Mr. Copy. <laughs> yes, yes, observe them. It is really nice that some of your trades are useful. I wanted to get into pneumatic craft, so why the hell not? The question is, who's gonna sell me the PCB? At least I'm getting rockets. Finally, the PCB. Although it's expensive, I believe you, my dear friend, you should have a talk with the warden. And by warden, I meant the director of fun activities. I'll stay outside. Let me know when you're done. 
So if we want to get into pneumatic craft, what we have to do is that we have to pay attention on how we're going to generate some air pressure. We got one of these air compressors from a hut, I upgraded it into a liquid compressor and I just wanted to know which kind of fuels are acceptable. I wanted to go a little bit crazy and start automating some sort of a fuel, but apparently we already have the fuel, liquid ethylene. And honestly speaking, it's not even a bad source. I mean, yeah, it's worse than gasoline and refined fuel, but this is renewable. I don't think I have already shown you, but I have set up all reactors from power over here and all of them are generating us a ton of power. If they're still working, yes, yes, good. And in between the episodes, I removed all the nether star generators because, you know, it was just 100,000 RF. And I also cut the pipe for ethylene. So maybe we can use the same ethylene? Because, you know, we're not consuming it anymore. Oh, and by the way, just in case you're curious, our entire power generation is almost 3.6 million RF. With those eight reactors. Now that we know how to proceed, uh, let us get the items that we need. The first thing that we need to automate is going to be biodiesel from pneumatic craft. It can also be the biodiesel from immersive engineering, but I think this one is going to be more compact and more lag friendly. And besides, we get glycerol. We have already done this in Enigmatica 6, so I don't think it's going to be that complicated. Uh, the first thing that we need is yeast. So it's going to be a thermal pneumatic processing plant. Here is one pattern. You should know how to make the different types of stone. And obviously the stupid tank. We also need to have a mixer, some walls for some reason, all the compressors that we can make at this very moment, and most importantly, uh, we need the security upgrade. You know, so that our compressors don't explode. I do have a feeling that for the moment, that's it. Uh, we need to throw these away. Uh, these are the ones from Power. I'm a little bit worried. Are we going to need extra molecular assemblers? I don't know. It's okay, we will think about it when we get there. For the moment, what we are going to do is that we're going to try and fix ethylene. We also need HTPE. It's something that I kind of forgot. Face the correct way, you stupid thing. That seems to be the correct way. Yes, and we're getting liquid ethylene. Okay, uh, we don't need the gas burning generators anymore. We're getting liquid ethylene. We put it inside a tank. Nice. We shall have enough air pressure. Yeah, I would say that is a decent amount. We're getting it really fast. Now that the fuel situation has been settled, let us make some biodiesel. We're going to do this in the nether. Because when we were playing Enigmatica 6, somebody suggested that the temperature in the nether is the best for yeast. And yes, he was absolutely correct. Uh, therefore, we are going to have a quantum ring here. Everything is fine. And I guess if we get a terminal and take it with ourselves to the nether, everything should go fine. Uh, this stupid thing doesn't work across dimensions. One thing that I should mention is that I still have a lot of problems with chunk loading and, well, I'm not really sure if this is a wise decision. For some reason, sometimes it doesn't work. Anyways, let us get started. We need some power, energy acceptor, quantum ring, the chamber, and the singularity. I'm assuming if I hook up a terminal here, we should be fine. Maybe in a moment. But do you know why it's not working? I forgot to set up the P2P tunnel. Uh, we take a connection from you and we just link it to you. Uh, now do we have access? Yes, finally. You go to health. Uh, so the first item on the list is yeast. Oh, this is nice. It's 55 degrees. Is it good? Yeah, it should be between 30 and 60. Okay, then we're good. Just to keep everything neat and clean, I am going to use some entangled blocks. We do have a decent supply of unobtainium, so why the hell not? The first thermopneumatic processing plant is going to be entangled to you. For making yeast, we are going to need water, so here is a sink. And there you go. You should have water. Yes, yes. For making yeast, we are going to need water and mushrooms, right? We have a huge supply of brown mushrooms, 185,000, because I do have a mushroom cow inside the deep mob learners. I had a plan and I kind of forgot what the hell the plan was. But we do have mushrooms, and that's the whole point. Are you gonna export? Heat is good. Oh, come on, stop doing that. Why you don't have any channels? Well, I have one mushroom, I can use that one. It's making us yeast. Power seems to fluctuate. There seems to be a bug, and whenever I leave this dimension, a quantum ring stops working. Maybe it's because you're not in the same chunk as the P2P tunnel? I don't think that should be the case, but let us try and fix it. I don't really think this is going to fix it, but I don't know. We try. Yeah, you see, 19 channels, zero channel. It turns on and off, I don't know why. It's not a power issue. Yeah, you see, it's not a power issue. It's only consuming like 6000 RF per tick. It's nothing. And for some reason, now it started working. Okay. There is something wrong with quantum rings in this mod pack, and I have no idea what the hell it is. Yeah, you see, I haven't done anything, and now it's working. Okay. Anyways, we have yeast, now we want ethanol. 
but we need some sort of a berry or sugar. So we shall have one more thermoneumatic processing plant, another export bus with sugar and a crafting card. I don't have a recipe, but we will add it later on. You go over there. Please don't turn off. It's fluctuating again. <laughs> I have no idea what's wrong. No, it's fine. I don't know. I believe we should be able to extract the yeast and put it inside the new thermoneumatic processing plant and that should give us ethanol very slowly. Yes, yes. So ethanol is also off the list. We should just remember to have a pattern for sugar. The next item on the list is vegetable oil. Unfortunately, we do not have a production of any type of vegetable, but we do have a decent supply of hemp seed. I have to automate this later on, but we do have 6,000. That should be enough to get us started. I know you're gonna turn off again, but bear with me, please. This time, in order to make vegetable oil, we are going to need some air pressure. So here is one compressor. Yes, facing the correct way. I have 1,000 tubes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. We should not forget to give a security upgrade to the liquid compressor so that it doesn't explode. And here is a tank of ethylene. Oh, you don't connect. Okay. Do you connect from the bottom? Maybe? Okay, yes. From the bottom it works. And you're getting air pressure. There is a high chance we are going to need two compressors? Yeah, why the hell not? Let's have two of them. Yes, yes. Pressure is going up. We need two bars. Oh, and these guys have been improved. Uh, they can go as high as 10 bars. I think it used to be five. That's a nice change. Any moment, we are going to get vegetable oil. Perfect, it started working. Thank you. Now that we have both ingredients, let's mix them up. I think what I forgot to do is that I did not set a pattern for the turbine rotor. It's fine, we can make it. Here is a mixer. Yeah, biodiesel also needs two bars of pressure, so it's good that we have two compressors. We put you over here. Also, do we give you security upgrades? Yeah, why not? Just in case. I assume you also take pressure from the bottom. Yes, you do. Four bars. Wow. Okay, now what we need to do is that we need to extract the seed oil. And which one was ethanol? You. Ethanol stopped. Oh, we're out of sugar. We have plenty of sugar cane, just not enough sugar. Die wire at its finest. But this should work. Yes, ladies and gentlemen biodiesel and glycerol but we are not actually done what we need to do is that we need to convert that biodiesel into molten plastic that's what we want so what we need to do is that we need to have another thermoneumatic processing plant which also does require air pressure yes yes oh but this one has to be hot it has to be more than 100 degrees it's okay i will fix it later on for the moment we need to extract the biodiesel and put it in there so something like this should work Yes, yes. That should be one of the easiest things to do because all we need is a vortex tube, a heat sink on top, and I guess one more entangled block for the vortex tube. I don't work from that side. Uh, maybe here? Yes, it connects. We're getting heat. And what we need to do is that we just need to export charcoal and that will give us plastic. That's all we wanted. We just need to do a few final touches in the nether and then we're done. We should be able to go back home. Uh, first off, we need to have an import bus over here so that we can import the glycerol. We also need to have two more dimensional tanks for the plastic. And I guess something like this should work. Yes, we have plastic. Perfection. It's just that we need to have a recipe for charcoal. And I also have to figure out something about industrial hemp seed. But one thing that I'm not exactly sure of is that how much plastic do we need? Uh, maybe even 6,000 seeds is more than enough. Yeah, because I can buy capacitors and transistors. All we need it for is PCB. And also the Amadron tablet. I think that's it. It's okay. We are done in the nether anyways. We can go home. Actually, wait a minute. We need one more crafting card for the charcoal. You go over there. I have set up the patterns that we need. Uh, the hemp seed is the only thing which is remaining. I do have a small hemp farm down here, which is very manual. I thought maybe we should try and use a drone. Honestly speaking, I don't really think that's going to be necessary, but let's try it anyways. Uh, we also need to have a charging station for the drone. And I don't really like this, but we also need to have a compressor with liquid ethylene. Yeah, you're making us pressure. That's good. We just connect you to the charging station. <laughs> Sorry, it was facing the incorrect way. I don't really know which kind of upgrades are available for the harvesting drone, but the range is good for us. It's 17 by 17 by 17. This is like 5 by 5. It also does require a hoe, and I was thinking maybe we use all the modium. It's cheap. And we do have a decent supply, so why the hell not? It's unbreakable. Although the question is, are you going to just harvest it or are you going to collect it as well? We will see. You picked up the hoe, that's nice. 
<laughs> he's so nice. Oh, I have a magnet. <laughs> he's so cool. But he's not going to collect it. So we need a collector drone too. Which is perfectly fine because I think I already bought one. Logistics. No, I didn't do that. Uh, there is, yes, a collector. We also need to charge up. Where did he go? Oh, he's just hovering over there. Okay, that's fine. I think you have enough charge. Uh, do you collect everything? Good, good. Where will you put it? In the chest? Yeah, he puts it in the chest. Okay, then that's fine. Since this is a blood moon, maybe I should stand nearby. I was always under the impression that whenever drones are low on power, um, they're going to go to the nearest charging station, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Our collector drone literally just died. It's okay, they didn't have that much pressure anyways. Uh, let us get some speed upgrades to accelerate everything. And for getting lubricant, since we are not producing it, we need the Amadron tablet, so we need some plastic. Uh, for the moment, I think this will do. I just need a few pieces of plastic, we're not in a hurry. Yes, 15 is good. Uh, so, GPS tool and the Amadron tablet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, this is why we need speed upgrades, because everything that I want to do requires air pressure. And I just wanted to mention that our compressors are garbage. Drones are nice. And very smart. Just in case we are going to expand the farm by a little bit. I also use a lot of hempcrete, so why not? Kind of forgot how the Amadron tablet used to work, but I believe we needed to have a tank, one chest. We put the emeralds inside the chest because we need to pay for the lubricant. We select the chest, the tank, and I believe we should be able to order some. Yep. Uh, five emeralds for one bucket. The question would be how many buckets can we buy out of items to sell? We placed the order. He took my money. Jerk. Oh, he brought the lubricant too. Uh, thank you. You don't have to give me that many achievements. I know. I'm guessing now we should be able to make some speed upgrades. We also maybe need some dispenser upgrades. Actually, it's not called dispenser upgrade. Uh, I meant volume upgrade. Uh, so that we can have more air pressure within the compressor. You can put 25. We can also put it in the drones. Why not? Uh, we go to upgrades. Add some volume. I think you're dead too. It has so many volume upgrades that the pressure is 0 0.3. Uh, we remove some. The main reason that we are not pumping air pressure fast enough is because our pipes are garbage, our compressors are garbage. And if we want to get better ones, we need to have the assembly line. So we need the platform. We need two IO units. Thankfully, we already bought the PCBs. Otherwise, this would have been a pain. Here is the drill. Oh, we're out of uh, cylinders. I am incredibly lazy to go buy some, so let's make a few. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Oh, wait a minute. You need to make the export too. Okay, you can't just wrench it. It's fine. We ran out of a few things. I need to make some purchases. Just to make sure that everything is going to be neat and clean, we're going to assemble the assembly line under the tower. So here is import. We shall have the export. I'm going to put the controller over there, the laser and the drill, as well as the platform. Because the only item that is going to need some air pressure is going to be the controller. And you know, we're just gonna hide it. I have two compressors, that should be more than enough. They have security upgrades. It's nighttime again. But we are also getting air pressure over here. That is good. We are not really going to do that much crafting over here. So we give you a few volume upgrades as well. For automation purposes, we are going to have an input ender chest over here. And an output ender chest over there. Uh, this is frequency 661, so we need to have an interface with that frequency. I guess we can just put you here. Nobody cares. 18 channels. What? What did I read? Yeah, we put you here. It seems to be more stable. Anyhow, what are the items that we want to craft? We want to be able to make the advanced pressure tube. You don't need the rest. Just this. Oh, and I also love these. Uh, we make them too. And of course, the most important function is the unassembled PCB. So there you go. Wait a minute. Oh, you're just the interface. Oops. We want the pattern interface. We do have a few advanced pressure tubes, but just out of curiosity, can you make me the one? No. Here is your pattern. I don't think we have enough pressure in the assembly line, but let us try this. Yeah, we only have 2.6 bars. Um, It's not picking it up. I have been waiting for a while, and then I discovered that I have made a huge boo-boo. The assembly line is not working because we need to buy the program. That was my stupid mistake. Who's gonna bring it? Ah, you. I like you. So if we put you in, are you gonna craft? Yes. Finally. Very slowly. Some of you are really not fans of getting jobs. 
I added more workstations. Everybody out. Go to work. Oh, this is from supplementaries. I was very confused. Nothing of interest, except some fireworks. Now that we have the assembly line, I think with that, it is also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye-bye.